Jack Whiten today met with South's power brokers and best mate Latrell Mitchell as they try to lure the Raider to the Rabbitohs. If anything could sell the Bunnies to the off-contract star, it's their dramatic and rare win over the reigning Premiers. Celebrating a special victory over Penrith with South Sydney's famous mascot. When Reggie tells me to put him on his shoulders, I'll put him on his shoulders, so on my shoulders, so... Uh, whatever Reggie wants, Reggie gets. In the sheds undergoing an HIA following a head knock, Jai Arrow missed the match-winning play as Alex Johnston linked with Cody Walker, who found a flying Isaiah Tass. You would not believe it! What did you make of that last play? Pretty clutch there from Cody. I didn't even see it. I didn't even see it. The try sealed a 2018 win. Cody, talk about the big plays and the big moments. You pulled one off there. Yeah, just the chat was all week just to stay in the fight. We just knew we couldn't drop our heads. Yeah, very proud of the boys. Latrell Mitchell start again, but the superstar's biggest asset is his pulling power as the Rabbitohs ramp up their quest to sign Raider Jack Whiten. You'd love to have a, a centre of that calibre outside you. Yeah, for sure. He's a wonderful bloke, a wonderful player, and we'd love to have him. He's done it all. He's played for played for Australia, he's played for his state, and he's, he's won a uh, Clive Churchill. We'd be so lucky to have him here at this club. One of the game's fiercest rivalries was last night reignited. South officials fuming as Spencer Lenu reminded Rabbitohs fans of their 2021 Premiership defeat. You showed your finger and said, where's your ring? Yeah, it was a bit arrogant from me, but um, yeah, I don't know what, what came to me to um, do something like that. But um, look, it's just, you know, I'm part of the game. It was like, you know, people were giving it to me, so I sort of gave it to them. Zach Bailey, Nine News. Coach Cameron Serraldo has issued a challenge to his marquee player, Matt Burton, step up and take more control. Burton will make the switch to halfback for tomorrow's clash against the Sharks, with Kyle Flanagan moving to 5'8". Matt Burton is already the Bulldogs' biggest star, but his coach needs to see more. We want Matt to step up and take ownership of the team and um, I feel like he's ready for that. You know, a while back he probably wasn't ready for that, but he's, he's really grown into the leadership role. He's one of our on-field captains and, um, you know, the change of jerseys is a little bit symbolic as well of where we think he can go with his footy. Burton will move into the number seven jersey, which comes with added pressure and expectation. Firstly, it's what, what the team needs right now from Matt, um, but he's also just matured over the last two years, you know, from from when I was last saw him at Penrith to the person he is now, he's uh, a lot more mature, he's a lot more comfortable in his own skin. Kyle Flanagan will switch to 5'8", which could also be a blessing for him after years of scrutiny at halfback. This week he's sort of shown that there's a little bit of weight off his shoulders and he can concentrate on himself a little bit more and the guys around him. and. Um, hopefully we see that come out tomorrow. It'll be an almighty test for the Bulldogs tomorrow. Already facing an unprecedented injury crisis, they'll take on Premiership heavyweights Cronulla. Most believe the Sharks will do it comfortably. I disagree with that um, wholeheartedly. I think every game in the NRL is difficult. We always respect our opponent, no matter where they sit on the ladder, and injuries aside can create a, a spirited performance. Emma Lawrence, Nine News.